The base idea for our app is a recipe app. Our app aims to provide users with access to online recipes conveniently. From summaries to checklists, our app's got it all. When we first decided to make a recipe app, there was initially a lot of disagreement as we have put so much effort into researching and prototyping a diet app. But eventually, we decided to make a recipe app instead because the idea was getting too complicated as time passed by. The most difficult thing in the beginning was settling on an idea to work on, as there were already many apps that existed which could show users their nutrition intake, which was our original idea. However, we slowly developed our idea through many discussions and eventually came to our current idea of a recipe app. The recipe app. Compared to the nutrition app, it's less complicated and would take a shorter amount of time to complete. If we were to do the nutrition app, we may not be able to complete it within the given time. Initially, our idea was a diet app which tracks the user's food intake and helps them in adopting a healthier diet. However, upon realization that our app idea might be too complex and difficult to make within the given time, we seek the advice from our trainers and decided to change our app to a recipe app that is simpler but still has a healthy aspect to it. After showing our app to seniors and trainers, they suggested minor changes to the UI, such as some spacing changes, readjusting shadows of some elements, and making the font scalable. In addition, they also suggested some user experience improvements on the checklist like making the checkmark button more easier to click. As for future suggestions, they suggested a watchOS app to act as a timer for the recipes to remind the user when something is done cooking. Besides that, they also suggested sound effects and haptics on the timer for recipes. Some ways we were told to improve were such as having a better colour scheme than the original green, as well as making the user interface more suitable for our iPhone users. Trainers and seniors will help us out with our prototypes or code and they will give us feedback and tell us how to improve on our app. The app allows users to browse through various available recipes. Upon selecting a recipe, the user will be able to look at the summary. Once they have confirmed that they want to use that recipe, they can proceed to a checklist where they can ensure that they have all the necessary ingredients and equipment. Finally, they will see the steps to cook. Afterwards, once they have pressed the finish button, they will be given the option to add their nutrition information to the health app. Our app may have some potential to be useful, especially during the pandemic, as some people might be keen to eat healthily and learn how to cook. In particular, the app provides a shopping checklist, guided steps which include timers, as well as a gauge on whether a recipe is healthy or not, which may be useful for those users. In addition, our app can present recipes based on the user's diets and intolerances. Reflecting on the project, I think that the team did a great job of working together and taking the initiative to solve certain issues, which has led us to be able to publish Recipe together. We made Recipe Lee in just a couple of months and still isn't as polished as other recipe apps out there. However, our app has a few features that most other recipe apps don't. For example, we have a checklist of ingredients, a timer, and it can save recipe nutrition data to health kit. In the future, we may push out more updates, and it may possibly be better than its competitors. Our app is more unique compared to the other apps, as we have some other features that the other apps don't, such as a timer, a checklist of ingredients, and a function that can save recipe nutrition data to health kit.